So we've been telling you about the growing pressure on Harvard and MIT to fire the president after that horrendous testimony on anti-Semitism. But today, another school anti-Israel culture making headlines once again. If you recall back in October, these pro-Hamas messages were projected on the GW University Library. Now a, at a faculty panel hosted by the university's medical school, last week staffers reportedly defended Hamas atrocities, declaring the terrorist group has a, quote, a right of resistance. Our next guest has been very vocal about the soaring anti-Semitism on her campus. George Washington University student Sabrina Sofer joins us now. Sabrina, it's good seeing you again. Um, Thank you for having me. You know, what, what, what is the lowest point we're going to go when it comes to anti-Semitism? Are you even surprised by this? Um, unfortunately, I'm not surprised. And I think we're reaching a very low point. We've seen that there's foreign money coming in that are sponsoring academic programming. Mm -hmm. This particular webinar uh, comes out of one of the academic programs at GW's Elliott School. It's called the Institute of Middle East Studies, and it's actually funded and it's public on their website by Qatar Foundation International. And this is not an isolated trend. You know, we've seen it at Georgetown, at Northwestern, and other universities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there can be views that can be said, right? That's right. But there's no balance here. And unfortunately, uh, IMIS, the Institute of Middle East Studies at GW, has been promoting curriculum like this for quite a long time. I've been to several of their events before and after October 7th. And I can just give you a, a bit of a picture of what that looked like after the 7th. Um, you know, a, about a week or so after the war, there was an expert panel held with about seven faculty members, and they all pretty much were either not exactly anti-Israel, but very, very critical of Israel or anti-Israel. Mm -hmm. And that was presented under the guise of balance, right? And when you have seven faculty members, people who don't know, go into these events and they think that it's balanced. So they come out thinking that that's really the only view. So it's that's ridiculous. one. Right. And the next thing, you know, they brought a film to campus that was based, it's called Israelism. It's basically BDS propaganda two mm -hmm. days after that panel. And then there's Gaza in context and there's other events that are really just skewed. So the danger that we're seeing is in the classroom, this is the place that we're supposed to get educated. And unfortunately, it's turned into indoctrination. And this is truly a violation of educational integrity. And it is morally mm -hmm. shameful. You know, I only got about 10 more seconds. There's been so much talk about diversity, equity, and, and inclusion. Do you think Jews are included in that? Unfortunately, I don't think that Jews are included. And I think that the system itself actually hurts Jews because Jews have been framed into this worldview where the, they're the white settler colonial oppressors yep. and the Palestinians are the benevolent, uh, innocent, oppressed. And this is the worldview that, that the, the um, DEI initiatives espouse. So when we fit this yeah. worldview and there's no questioning, it's very dangerous. And this is what we're seeing on campuses today. It's complete nonsense. It's not fair. It's not equity. It's not inclusion. Uh, Sabrina, thanks so much for being brave and coming on the program. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.